Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing this YSL item that I did pick up from Nordstrom's. I'm going to leave a link to this item in the description box in case anyone is interested in purchasing this. So I'm going to go ahead and get right to opening this little cutie. All right, you guys, so here's the item right here. Here's the information for the item, the card and everything. You can see what that is. It is a YSL credit card holder in pale pink. Okay, I'm gonna set that there. Paperwork that comes with it. Put that there. And let's open this little cutie. There we are, look at that. It's so, so pretty. I saw this on Nordstrom's website and I know I had discussed earlier in picking or in a later video, a previous video of picking up the beige color and I still have this wallet here that the beige color comes in that I wanted to get this in originally. I'm not even sure if these colors are coming across here on camera with this pale pink and this dark beige color. I'm going to have to insert a picture of what these two look like together, but they are. This is very beautiful here. I love the quality of this. It's very rigid. I've heard people talk about how stiff the YSL card holders are. This one is very stiff, but still flexible enough to get some cards in here. And I'll demonstrate with a few cards that I have laying here on hand. I have a TJ Maxx gift card here. Let's see how easily that slides in there. And then I have, this one has a card here already in the slot. That slides in there, but I think if I had another card here, this might. So I have an advanced auto parts card there and that fits in there pretty good. So I don't know, this one doesn't feel as rigid as tight. I can get one card in each. If I was going out, I really wouldn't have that many cards on me for what I would carry this for. It would just be the kind of bare essentials but I wanted to show you this. And also I have this, I still have this wallet that I picked up from YSL with this hot pink or fuchsia color. And I think this is still coming off as a neutral beigey color, but it's a really, really, really pretty pale pink. And I have my coach, I have my coach card holder here. And I was actually curious if these two are gonna be very similar in color and if I could possibly do without the YSL one. But as you can see, the color difference in these two, and I'll probably have to put in a screenshot so that you can see the true color of this pale pink one. Because again, it, it's very neutral, beige pale pink, beige pink. Like a, uh, it's very hard to describe just kind of seeing it in person. I can tell that it is a pink, but it's very neutrally beigey on the beiger, beiger, if that's even a word, beigey side of the color spectrum, okay? But I wanted to show you this. Of course, compared to my coach card holder, this one is larger. So I, I don't know if, if it being larger makes a difference. I haven't had any problem putting cards in here. So I feel like it's still takes cards in. Let's look and see. Yeah, while this is still very tight, I can still put cards in here just as easy. So I'm not really sure if it being bigger makes a difference in that, but I guess just for the ease of putting cards in, it's a good comparison to the coach one that I have here. So I don't want to make this too long. It's really just showing this 
color that I have here, even though this one is the one that I was originally intending to buy. And I still do want to get this color because I wanted to get it to match uh, the bag that I'm looking to get. But I saw an opportunity to get this one. And I thought, why not? I still love this color. And I could probably use this color in this bag that matches. They do complement. And I could just see myself carrying pink accessories when I get the YSL mini toy Lulu bag. All right, you guys. So here are my four items, my two YSL wallets and this one here. All right, you guys. So just really quick in comparison to my Chanel wallet that I have, I wanted to compare these two together. I know a lot of people will purchase the YSL over a Chanel. I actually had an opportunity to buy another one of these that was in red from Chanel, but red is not a color that I was looking to add to my collection, so I passed on it. But one of the things I can tell, the caviar leather feels a lot like this uh, pebble grain. I think this is calf skin. Let me see what this card says. It is a grained, yeah, so it's a grained leather but this caviar feels a lot like this grain leather. The spacing of the caviar is a lot larger or the grain pattern is a lot larger. I don't know if you can tell the difference in those, but you can see how the caviar is a little bit larger than the grain pattern on this. So I think that for anyone who is looking to possibly get a YSL card holder over a Chanel, I could see why. I do think the quality on this is really good. The stitching looks really good. And in compared to a Chanel card holder, I think the savings you would get by adding a YSL card holder to your collection could be very beneficial. Now this one is a old card holder from Chanel, so I don't have the back pocket on the back, but I would like to get an updated one with the back pocket, but I don't necessarily have to. I like this because it does have this extra pocket here so I can put a lot of cards in here and just have my one main one that I would reach for a little bit more often. All right, and so I'm just comparing my Chanel to my YSL ones. I like that this one is a lot larger in comparison. So while I'm, I'm not sure I can really even add more cards or need necessarily to have more cards, but I do like the flexibility of just having space to grab cards in and out. I do like that this has the compartments to separate items in here. Let me take that out. I can separate items a little bit better and just kind of dump the rest of the things that I don't need in this compartment space here. So that is what drew me to this. And these are very similar to my Rosalie coin purse, which I'm going to get to show in this video. All right, so here is my Rosalie coin purse. And you can see, I like that it has those compartments where I can still add items in here. I, of course, love this rose ballerine color. So this is like the ultimate perfect pink. And I'll put that next to this so that you can see. Again, this just kind of drowns it out. I don't know if it's the light or whatever. Just makes it look like a more beigey color. But you can kind of see how these compare to each other has that envelope flap that I like. They're small in size, has the openings that I like. Oh, can't see that there. There we go. It has the openings that I like. So of course this one, because it opens wider, does appear it could hold a lot more cards. So that really is the goal. But when I compare like my Chanel to my Rosalie coin purse, the Chanel one does open up a lot wider just because of the material. It's not canvas, so it has a lot more give in the mouth. But in terms of, you see that opening, 
I feel like they're very comparable and I can stick the same amount of cards in each. All right. So if you're looking to get a Chanel, but you really wanted to get a Louis Vuitton or whatever have you, I think this is very comparable. I think out of all of these, this would ultimately still be my favorite. And I'm glad that I picked this up because I love that color. And again, this right here would match all of my other items. All right. So here are my card holders that I compared in this video. All right, you guys, so that is this video. If you have any questions about these items, again, I'll put the link to this one here from the Nordstrom's website for anyone who is curious on getting that card holder. You all have a blessed rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next video. Alrighty, bye.